There are a number of conditions that can result in narrowing of the space in the spine that the nerves travel through on their way to their specific destination, carrying signals that provide sensation and motor control to the lower half of your body and legs. When that narrowing, which we call stenosis, gets to a significant or critical level, patients might experience symptoms of pain, muscle weakness, numbness or cramping. Commonly, when the narrowing is in the central canal where the nerves are traveling, multiple nerve roots can be involved. Patients often describe symptoms that are worse when they are standing upright or walking for a particular distance. They often first notice this in the larger muscle groups around the hips or thighs, which can usually be relieved when they stop and sit down, or when they lean over an object like a cart in the grocery store. This is because leaning forward or sitting down often opens up the space in the spine for the nerves. If your CU orthopedic spine provider suspects that this might be occurring in your situation, we would start with a neurological examination to determine any functional loss and x-rays to evaluate the alignment of your spine. We follow this with an MRI to evaluate where the nerve compression might be occurring. Once we've made a diagnosis, we would start treatment with non-operative options such as physical therapy or injections, depending on the severity of the symptoms. However, if your symptoms are serious and match up with the significant MRI findings of narrowing in your spine, we would recommend surgery to take the compression of all the nerves. Any weakness of the foot or the knee is an indication for early surgical intervention. The surgical approach that we recommend will depend on the cause of the narrowing and how many areas of compression exist. In addition, the specific type of surgery that we recommend depends on your particular symptoms, goals and expectations. This ranges from minimally invasive surgery with small incisions to larger traditional decompressions. If the problem is related to compression alone, your surgeon may recommend decompression surgery, which involves removing bone, disc material or other ligaments that are pushing on the nerves. This may be augmented with non-fusion devices to maintain the height once the foramen has been opened and the nerve compression removed. If the compression is associated with significant back pain or instability or slipping of the vertebrae on one another, we may also recommend a fusion at the time of decompression. This involves placing rods, screws and other devices to stabilize your spine. There are many ways we can treat your lumbar stenosis. Your first step is to meet with a CU orthopedic spine provider for an evaluation so we can work together on the right treatment plan for your unique case.